Hey guys, I definitely want to upload more often and when I have the time I want to upload as much as I can So I'm doing two videos in one day. Hopefully I can get them both up today. If not, there'll be one tomorrow I don't really know what I'm doing. So I took part in an online coral auction I guess that's what you would call it. This guy who sells corals had a bunch of leftover corals from his sales I don't really know how it worked out all I know is that he had a bunch of overstock and he was going to do some huge sell to get rid of all of his overstock. And basically the way he did it was every 10 minutes he would release six corals online. Doesn't matter if they were $300 corals or $20 corals, they were all going for $20. You can get some really rare corals for, you know, that should be $300 for only $20. Problem was is he only had one of each. So the second he released it, whoever clicked it first got it. So I literally stayed on that website doing that for like seven hours. It was bad. I mean, I didn't just sit there. I took some breaks, but I mean, I was on there for a long time. And after the whole day went through, I had won eight corals that could have ranged from anywhere, you know, up to, you know, $600 corals, but I got them for 20 bucks. So that was really cool. And they arrived today in the mail. I have never ordered anything living via the mail before. I've never really known how that works. I've always been curious. Um, of course, don't say it's like inhumane because honestly, every fish gets to fish stores the same way. They all get shipped there. Um, so it's no different getting it shipped to your house. It's just, it feels different because instead of going to the store, you get these living creatures sent to you in a box. So I did that and I had eight corals shipped to my house. So I did a video about my unboxing of them and the acclimation process. They are now um, starting to open up a little bit. It's been a, you know, a really long day for them, but they definitely are doing pretty well. I haven't noticed any of them like dying or anything. Since I got them, they've only improved. None of them have gone downhill. There is one that still isn't really opening, but that's how it was when I got it. So I'm just hoping with time, it's gonna open up. So yeah, that's what this video is about today. Um, I was going to show my face in this video, but um, let's, not, let's not show my address. There we go. I was going to just sit down and film myself doing an unboxing of these corals when they arrive, but it's 10 a.m. and I went to bed like five hours ago. So I'm really tired right now and I look like a zombie. So I'm just gonna film it this way um, just because I look half dead right now. So basically I'm just gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna open this up and make sure they're all living because like I said, I've never ordered anything online before. Okay. What does this say? Thank you for your order. Now, all right, it, it's even saying it right here. It says it's always best to um, dip your corals before you add them to the tank. Basically all that means is it takes away any hitchhikers or um, any unwanted like bacteria or whatever that could be on the coral. Takes it off of it so it doesn't transfer into your tank. I normally would always do this, but I actually don't have any coral dip on me right now. I didn't know this was going to come so early in the morning. So, um, well, early, it's 10 a.m., but still. Okay, I don't know how the heck to open this, hold on. Here we are, okay, so, a lot of layers to this, which is good, you don't wanna just like open the box and see the corals are just sitting there. Okay, yeah, so none of these are gonna be labeled, so I'm just gonna have to look at them and figure out what the heck they are. And it's gonna be kind of hard because they're all gonna be closed up, but let's give it a shot. Oh, that's the second bag. Okay, bag number one. Honestly, without opening these up, it's gonna be really hard for me to tell what it is, just because they're at such an odd angle that I can't get a perfect idea of what they are. This one, I believe, is my Gonopora. So, there's that one. What's that weird noise? Okay, so basically, since I don't have a dip, I'm just gonna go ahead and float them. This one, I believe, is my, yeah. This one is my mushroom. Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought. This one is my Lobo. Yeah, I thought they were gonna be really tiny like all these other ones. This one's big. Now we're to the part of these corals arriving where I need to acclimate them to my water. I actually recommend drip acclimating your corals. It's always the safest way to do it for sensitive species such as corals. I don't have a drip acclimation system set up. You normally want to get a little tube and it drops it and stuff. I don't have it right now. It's really not that hard to set up, but just for now, time-wise, since these guys have been already in a bag for so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and acclimate them my way, which is opening up the bag, putting some of my water in, closing it up, waiting a few minutes, doing it again, and repeating that process. But the tricky part of this one is that there are eight corals all in different bags, and I really don't wanna go through each bag, open it up, add water, close it up, next bag, open it up, add water, close it up. So I'm gonna transfer all of these corals into a big bag and acclimate them in there. 
So that's really the tricky part, is getting all of these into another bag safely. Okay, I need to clean the glass a little so it might not focus perfectly, but I got all my corals onto the frag rack. I might move my Lobo, this one right here, I might move him out into my tank somewhere, only because he is so large that I'm afraid that when he opens up, he's gonna, you know, overlap on the other corals. Once they all open up, I'll make sure the glass is clean so I can do a good, you know, show you all of them. They're all closed up right now, so if you might be thinking, those look kind of weird. They're closed up because they got transferred from a tank to a dark box, to a bag, to another tank. So they're kind of freaking out right now. But if you just give them time, they're gonna open back up. This is what they look like with blue light. That one right there is rainbow. I love it. So now I just have to wait for them to open up. So yeah, I'm gonna take you all over and show you the corals. So I'm chilling here with my corals. Like we have right here. Let's zoom in on this one. So here's how they're doing now. I have right here, Agonopora. It's also known as a flower pot. I also have another flower pot right back here. I'm not sure if this camera is going to focus on it or not. I do have some algae on the tank that it just can't really seem to get through. There we go. Right there, that's another flower pot. Here we have this beautiful, it's like a rainbow plate coral. Right here we have a little mushroom. It's facing the other way. Back here, I believe, I can't really see perfectly, but I think this is my green goddess coral that I won. Not 100% sure, can't really tell. This is the one that hasn't been doing amazing. As you can see, it has some strings coming off of it and stuff. Yeah, it's, I don't know how he's doing. I mean, that's how he was when I got him. Then, the other, I got two more corals, but I didn't feel safe putting them up there because they were a little bigger and a little more aggressive and I didn't want them hurting anything. So here we have my Lobo. He's got all sorts of funky colors on him. He's not fully open yet, but almost. He pretty much is. And then over here, we have my Galaxia. I think Galaxias are so beautiful when they're bigger. Um, I've always wanted one, so I'm really excited that I got one, especially just for 20 bucks. Yeah, so all of these guys were only 20 bucks. It was an amazing deal. And they really are turning out really well, so pretty impressed. Okay, it's way too hot in here for me to be wearing this. I wanted to like do something that looked a little different than my other video. Not the exact same outfit, so I put a jacket on. It's too hot, I can't do that in tech. Next part of the video, before the sun sets and I lose all my good lighting, one of my next few videos, I am going to be doing an update on my nano tank that I am building. Just not quite ready, because I'm waiting for a few things to get in the mail before I make my video. It's coming together okay. It's definitely not there yet where I want it. That's really all I wanted to do for this video. I just wanted a very quick video just to show you all my corals and you know get more content out there because I really want to be uploading more often than I am. Let me know your experiences about any animals or corals or invertebrates or whatever. If you've ever ordered anything online, just let me know how it's gone for you because I, I'm pretty pleased with how it worked out for me. I'm almost at 20,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, didn't really think I'd ever get many subscribers on here. I didn't really think people would care to listen to me talk, so that's really awesome to me, and it's really, it's just, it's so awesome. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all guys have a wonderful day or evening or night. I kind of upload all these videos at weird times. I'm gonna try to get a set schedule soon, I promise, but thank you for watching. Bye!